Welcome back to Bug Snacks. Uh, let's see what all these quests are. What do you guys hey, want? Hey, how's the journey? Talk. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. What is it? See, nobody's figured out how Bug Snacks reproduce. Oh. But I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them. Grow them in the dirt, like plants. Are you coming with that theory? Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before. Fresh and gooey like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. A root, function in the garden, and a fruit, function in the garden. Can I plant that? Oh, shit. That was a fruit one? Okay, well, cool. Uh, do I need chocolate? Oh, I need lots of ketchup. What's low? <clears throat> what do you want? Hey, buddy. I got something to show you. Follow me. It forced me into this interaction. I did not make this choice. <clears throat> Hello. Wait one moment. Interview. I don't feel like interview. Hmm. Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we'd just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> oh, and what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. Go ahead and check. It's from you, isn't it? Dear Buddy. <coughs> I knew it. Thanks for walking me back home. And also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg for a while, you might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO, Mayor Philbo Fiddlepie. That's me. That's me. <laughs> <clears throat> well, what do you think? Great question, buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way! Did you give me a hat? I was thinking <clears throat> you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut. I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're going to finish it someday. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this'll feel like home. Mail time. Toggle bill mode. What? Basic for... What kind of shit is this? What's this about a garden? Okay, well, that's something. Huh? Excuse me? All right. Good to be home. Stranger feels like a fresh start. If you're ever fixing to grow a farm yourself, here's something that ought to help. Okay. Oh yeah. Sleeping bag. Hey, Bessie, thanks for convincing me to come back. I forgot how nice it is to have a real bed, though. Since I'm not camping out anymore, you can borrow my old sleeping bag if you want. Enjoy. Good lord. Thank you again for helping me and my little ones get to the, get to a better home. I send you a lantern in case you also get real scared of the dark. Cheer away. Ooh, can I use this as a, as a tool? I saw a snack the other day that I just loved on sight. I was hoping you could add it to my barn. I don't know what it was called, but it looked like a big heart flying in the sky. Okay. Big heart flying in the sky. Gotcha. Um, interviews. Interviews. You, you need interview. I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? Del, figure it out. <laughs> Alright, who are you? Uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. And why come to Snack Tooth Island? I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family. And I thought I could really use one of those. You don't have a family? I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Come on, man, that's sensitive. Why would you ask that question? <laughs> Thoughts on Bucks next. <clears throat> well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? 
I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. I will admit they are cute, but everybody does eat bug snacks. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Fair. Why did you leave town? <clears throat> Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. Wait, what do? <sighs> the next night, I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked, and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Are your bugs like safe from Wiggle? Maybe. Wiggle's a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Any info on Lisbert? Lisbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. What happened to Lisbert? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lisbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, mm. can, can we talk about something else? What would you do with the book snacks? I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Can we talk about something else? Hey, Dan, you can relax. <sighs> I don't think I like interviews very much. That's the only hey, one you're getting. Lisbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. Give you a diary key. All right. Yeah, I'm in the barn now. I'm out of the barn. All right. Uh, you've been interviewed. That guy's been interviewed. Where's the lady? Interview time. I thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. All right, here we go. Who are you? I'm Bethica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. Sure, but what do you do professionally? <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? That's very interesting. Is that fun fact unrelated? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Okay, thoughts on Buck Snacks? Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Why did you leave town? Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama. We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. That's why you were living in a cave? Uh, hey, my cave was sweet. Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. But what specifically made you want to leave? Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then, he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. Any fun, Lisbert? What don't I know about Lisbert? Wink. Please answer the question. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Yeah, right. What is her weakness? Agabelle. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. What happened to Lizbert? Liz and Agabelle got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway, sorting it out together? That's everything. No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. 
Oh, and before you go, I think key. you should take this. Another key? It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. Here, you can buy that key. <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. Ah, he's gonna... All right. So now we'll go to Liz's cabin and uh, check it out. Uh, which one was it? Is this it? Is that it? Hey! Oh, you picked up a video diary. Anything else? Alright. What? I'm back in town after a narrow escape from a pack of vicious bug snacks. Just in time for a gorgeous doctor to treat my grievous wounds. Well, this gorgeous doctor thinks you're an idiot. Oh, well that stings. And after I face those snacks just for you. Don't joke around. I don't want you taking risks to impress me. But you are impressed, yes? <laughs> You're lucky it's such a shallow cut. And stop squirming around or I'll have to restrain you. Hiccupill? Not while the camera is on. Trying to look strong for your audience? <clears throat> so, how's it look, Bill? Think I'll be up and hunting soon? No, you need to stay a while, Liz. Aw, Hiccupill? miss me that much i just want you in peak hunting condition <laughs> uh, speaking of you haven't seen the hall for my latest excursion Ooh, did you bring me something good you tell me it's a brand new snack and you'll be the first to try it oh liz you spoil me surprise i'm back early <laughs> and have i got a story for you bill Everything happened. Tiffany broke her leg. Cramble got food poisoning. I couldn't help both of them. Everybody was shouting at me. I didn't know what to do. That's none of that's your fault. What's the point if I can't help anybody? I could just sit here all day while everybody else is out there all productive and happy. That's not true. You help me all the time. Like, when I cut my paw. You only got hurt because you were getting snacks from me. You'd be fine if I wasn't around. I think I understand what happened now. I need you, Bill. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. I'm here for you, too. The world can suck an egg. I know what'll make you feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. I'd fall to pieces without you. I understand the situation. Mm, that's not it. There is already be kept up here. No. Ooh. I still have a key. What is it too? Hmm, yeah. Fast travel. That's a thing. Okay, how do I Rumble gave me this key that seems to go to a locked diary. Well, that's certainly not a diary. Is this not from Liz? Hmm. I guess we'll find out later. Or maybe there's a diary in the box. That'd make more sense. You would lock the diary up, and the diary itself also has a lot. 
donation. How you doing? How you doing? Bye. I right, take all your ketchup. Your ketchup is mine. Or do you have a diary? Just your cactus. Oh. All right, now. Everything you have it. You have a question. Oh, hi. <sighs> I suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. Maybe a half dozen or so? Already on that. <clears throat> now transition! To new land, which means new snacks. Gurch Gulrug. New land. That loud furry pepper is that anything that catches its attention? These things never land. If only there was a way to catch the midair. What did she need? <clears throat> Hates Elizabeth. Damn. It was in the quest log. There's more than that. Here it is. Pop music. Catch two pop sticks. Ah, that's what it was. Hey, what something? What? Where did I get that quest? I had to catch it in midair. Catch up. Yeah. Rip tight. That wasn't done reading what that was. Maybe some sauce could get it to move. Toss. Hmm. Chocolate. Put it on it. Good job. I'll deal with you later. Getting things for donations. Rumpus is opening in a section of wall near the river. They're carrying some sort of partial.
goodness. Huh. I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Trippany Ladablog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? You haven't run into Wambus, have ya? I swear, that man has a head harder than granite. You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Three. Lady. Fine. Ketchup is more common, so. How dare you? Oh, it's not. Ruck. 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 Nope. Hmm. Run away. That's a little bit of a problem. I sent that guy flying. Hmm. I can't get up there. Oh. Hmm. Oh. So I technically have to. That was. Wait. Can I get up there? Hmm. I can get up here. Is this hot sauce? That is much more aggressive than its forest cousin. Ah shit! Ah shit! Ah shit! Ah shit! Ah shit! Ah shit! No! Hot sauce. Wait. So there's a bit of a problem here. I thought you loved hot sauce. Oh, you love ketchup too. Maybe hot sauce isn't a play. You like ketchup more. You do this. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I accidentally jumped over you. Right, let's try it again. Right here. Come on, man. Let's go. Right here. You can't fail. I need to get this rib. Uh. All right, fine. I'll look elsewhere. Hates hot sauce. Too small to catch a trap, but maybe some heat will puff them up. Oh. Hey, turn a freaking popcorn. Uh, 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 uh. I 
don't seem like I can die, but... You got puffed. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Does that not work? Trap, why? I don't want to go back to sniper. Shit, I didn't get anything that worth some here. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? You're here. Uh, I've been talking to the other grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help not just with chores and stuff, but you know. Uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know. I was already on that. It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Ah, nothing like getting close. Already on that, man. What do you think? I'm donating. I know you have a weird little bug thing. Oof. We go. Mm -hmm. uh, another fine day behind us. Who says we're done? Let's find those rivers. Any sauce will do for you. Disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you? Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 bunk snacks. What do you say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you. <laughs> Cheap is free. Follow me, pal. I don't trust you. Let me give her her stuff first. Hmm. Talk to you later. Isn't that nifty? Ooh. The hell? So cool. Oh, that's curious. Ribblepeeds only look like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. 
I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. <laughs> that? Oh, you're too kind. Meet me inside. <clears throat> Get out! These murals are still preserved. <clears throat> as far as I knew, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Bye bye. Inventory is full. You only need one squeeny worm, so let's go back and take care of everything first. Because <clears throat> I still don't trust that man. Next thing we do is donate two more things. 
Take care of you and if you're last. Try squeeny worm. 50%. What? Nice, buddy. Oh, I see. Let's go get the other stuff. Pretty sure I'm almost done with her stuff. I can use my chocolate. Never mind, it's Max. for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply <clears throat> isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. Yeah. You're walking into that yourself? Would you get out of... You're scaring the bug snacks. Get out of the way. Three seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Let's see what I can plant and what I can't. <clears throat> Got one back, but I don't care about that yet because I want the other one back too. take a night off nobody's desperate enough to steal from you anymore maybe but even still my kin might wander off if I'm not here oh, it's only natural dear I'm sure they long to return to the wild uh, don't say that this is their home they, they love it here they just get lost sometimes is all uh. Whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. <laughs> Gotta give you your iconic back. Oof. 
Yeah, right, so as you're in reverse space, keep turning to keep your... <clears throat> really? I do another one. <clears throat> you have a spuddy? I can carry more bug sacks now. Yes! <clears throat> Through your mail. <clears throat> mm. I think I can just donate any little old thing. I want to give her her weenie worm so I can just give myself a little bit more space. How long those snacks were in there? Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. <clears throat> If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to c and but it's just easier to, uh, stay out here with the bones. You got a point there. If I happen to see Wambus while I'm working, maybe we can catch up. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. Yeah. All right, what does the man want? Oh. 
There's all the things. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? <laughs> Time to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Hey. Hey, you could pay me three of those cheap. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth. There is no launch pad. <clears throat> <clears throat> Your bridge is broken, sir. Have a nice day. See ya. The only inventory is filled with stuff, so I'm gonna go and drop that off first. <clears throat> So settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. Man. Not do that. You're back. Oh, I had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trippy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just. I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't gonna give up my dig site either. 
We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw? You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. Let's hope the cactus doesn't get jealous. What's it now? Nothing. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, that's where she's going. Sure is a nice day, isn't it? Stranger, I won't mince words. Thanks for bringing Triffy home. Adios, amigo. <laughs> have your party later. I have interviews to do. <clears throat> nice to see you. I'm no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. Are you taking me, game? <clears throat> Who are you? You've certainly heard my number one single. A do the wiggle? I had stuck in my head for a solid month. You see, Wiggle Wiggle Bottom needs no introduction, darling. I come to Sunset Island. Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. <coughs> to get my creative juices flowing, as it were. Are your juices are flowing? Oh, well, <coughs> you know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggles World or Wiggle Baby one more time. And did she just? I've been accused of being a one hit. Did she just? Man. Oh, some bucks next. <clears throat> Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. The price is at it exactly. <clears throat> Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. Where did you leave? Where did you leave town? That's simple. I was following Grandma. He certainly knows his way around. Are you using Grambo for his food supply? No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never! He's far too sweet. Like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Any info on Lisbert? Ah, Lisbert! She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Does that happen a lot? <clears throat> Not nearly as often as I'd like. What happened to Lizbert? <gasps> that night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. What is the queen of bug snacks thing? Well, I can't be <clears throat> sure. All I <clears throat> saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Thanks, Wiggle. That's a wrap. I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record, it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. New clue, we give you a map to Liz's last location. Check your own for details. Yep. Oh, 
sure. Sounds like a real hoot. Who are you? <clears throat> oh, I go dig up <clears throat> bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Um, and your name? Oh, goodness, my name. I'm Triffany Lottablog. I come to Snacktooth Island. I heard about the trip to Snacktooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. Who is Grandma? You might have heard of Bronica, Lottablog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Got so much next? Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of butt snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. Why did you leave town? It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Grambles' throat. That why you and Grandma split? Grambus no, no, split. nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Let me find Lisbert. Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Do you get injured that often? Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so, but the Lottablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabelle. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. What happened to Lisbert? You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Thanks if any, I learned a lot. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... Here's something for me. You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? I just picked up Liz's notes on a secret code. Check your for details. All right. I need to weigh down the pressure plates in order. First left, unfortunately, it cuts off there. <clears throat> mm. Mm. If you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. It seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something... Oh, spectacular! I overheard Wambus talking about a sandopede. A snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. <laughs> Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Get over with. Ghost stories? Uh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there. Just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow. I'm pink. 
There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret mm. caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise <coughs> from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. <laughs> what? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were <coughs> exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> Okay, where were we? Um, uh, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story <clears throat> I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what <sighs> makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons mm. around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying Grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. Ah, no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. <laughs> and as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Ah, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Oh, Grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. Shh. 
she conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune. She gobbles us up? That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is lurking out there. And it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us, oh! Uh, well, we, we, no need to freak out. It's probably just, a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus! I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Silver <laughs> <Dildo> first. <laughs> Art four, what? Investigate the noise in the mill. Oh, is it open oh, oh, here? Open. Who are you? Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah? Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Let's get back and tell the others. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the Queen of Bug Snacks? <laughs> oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the Desert Grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hey, Tiffany, what's going on? You doing all right? It's open. First things first. Hey, hey. Oh, bestie! I was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But, like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. <laughs> yes. First things first, though, we should get this last guy here, and then next time we'll be going to the new area. 
We just need to finish this area first. Alright, I found a rock though. On oh, some rocks, man. This is a bit annoying. What if we both hit him? Stupid rock. We're just going at it. Hey, this isn't working. Longer? 
Hunger. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna end that one here. I'm gonna see y'all next time when we go to a new zone. Bye bye. Just follow Papa's pointer. Right. Or, or don't. That's fine, too. I was training. We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout. I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe. Maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwi the ropes. What do you say? See you later. Not in this episode. Bunger, buddy. Yes. And now we are. Oh, we are ready for new adventures that open three, no four slots. Oh yes. Now we're looking good. Then there's a lot of mail too. Okay, let's read the riddle first before we head off. Hanging lights. I'm not gonna read all this. Map of Snark Tooth. Grumpy baby mare. Find a little side for Biff. Piggy. Can a shy weenie worm with ketchup on it. With ketchup on it. Oof. Alright. See you next time. Bye bye.